The Great Gatsby is one of a whopping 11 Broadway musicals opening this spring. That's in addition to five star-studded plays. And That's two right. of those new shows you can see right behind me are opening this month with previews starting <laughs> for seven others. As the industry prepares for this year's Tony nominations in late April, 12 new productions were, are all going to open in just nine days. And CBS News <laughs> contributor Jamie Wax is here for us to help yes. understand what we should see, what we should anticipate. I mean, if it's a fulcrum, we are at the opposite end of COVID. Really well, that's what I was theater. going to ask you. This this seems like an unprecedented number. It is. I mean, I, I think in the classic days of Broadway, what they would have considered, considered a Broadway show, um, we might have had this kind of number before, but it's been years and years. The total number of new Broadway musicals that qualify for Tony nominations uh, is 15, actually, as of this week. So it's, it's just unbelievable to think that there was a three-year work stoppage for people who worked in the theater, who were, were artists, and all the people who run the, the behind the scenes part of theater. Uh, it, it's really kind of a beautiful thing. I think the dam has burst. Well, and given that, the Tony uh, nominating season is upon us. I'm wondering yes. if, if the people who are voting are actually going to be able to see all of these It is shows. a lot. I mean, it's, it's actually hard for journalists or playwrights like myself to, to go see plays right now because Everybody's trying to get all of the, the nominating people in to, to see these plays. Uh, I don't think uh, a, a Tony nomination member has ever had such a busy season. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's get into some of the specifics, because there are a lot of adaptations mm -hmm. of books, of, uh, of, of things that are familiar yes. to us. It seems like that follows a trend that we're seeing it across does. lots of different platforms. How much does that draw in viewers or, or potentially I mean, I think away? it does a lot. You know, I, I got to say, I mean, I will give you an example for myself. One of my favorite musicals I've ever seen on Broadway was The Bridges of Madison County, which was a book I could not stand movie I did not care for, and was one of the most beautiful musicals I ever saw. Uh, I, I think there are quite a few musicals and straight plays coming right now that are drawing people in because of the brand name. And The Great Gatsby is a good example. Uh, certainly, there are, are other examples coming along. The Notebook, which is really a wonderful... Seeing Water for Elephants. Yeah, Water for Elephants, I, uh, one of the biggest international bestsellers as a novel. So I, I do think adaptations, we kind of think of them as a new thing on Broadway, but actually, we've always adapted books and other plays uh, for Broadway from the very beginning of theater in America. Uh, or going even further back, yes, Greek theater exactly. were, were stories that everybody was already familiar with, That's but, exactly right. Um, I, you know, in, in the short amount of time that we have left, you know, mm. I always love your recommendations ah. because I love to go see. Because you're, you're my plus one for something. <laughs> I, I'm bringing I'm you in, to I'm something. In. What are you most excited about? I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm excited about a lot of things. I mean, we've mentioned some of them. I'm excited that there are so many new musicals on Broadway and the straight plays that are coming that are attracting the biggest talent in the world. But I have to tell you, there was an announcement this week that this beautiful piece uh, of, of theater that was at the Park Avenue Armory is coming to theater. It's based on Sufjan Stevens' uh, album, Illinois, and that is probably one of the most beautifully staged and exciting pieces of theater I've seen in a long time. Fascinating. All right. Yeah. Jamie Wax, thank you so much. Thank you, Lon.